Good morning, guys. Right off the bat, we've got a non-focusing camera. There we go, much better. So we've been cleaning up these three gems we've had uh, up here in the garage. And uh, I figured I'd show them real quick. I got them sold, S-O-L-D, gone, sold, bye-bye. But uh, I figured we'd uh, show them here for just a minute before they run away. The one on the end there is a 80s model KZ650. If you follow the channel for a while, you know at home I have a 81 KZ750. Oh, but I lied. This is a, right there, you see it, 1977 Kawasaki KZ650. The bike we have at home is a 650 or 750 LTD from 81. This one runs, but the carburetors are all garbage on it. They flood out real bad, so. But uh, it did run. What you doing? Getting clothes hangers. Getting clothes hangers. Are oh, you gonna make hangers for the stuff? And did you uh, get your bag out? Yes, I got it off. And did, hey, look, when I pulled it off, there were two of them. One back up. One on top of the other. How about that? Mm. So it's a 71 and a 72. That one more reason to um, but that's a 650 KZ. I do not think it's the LTD trim. Mine is a 750 LTD. Uh, four cylinder bike. Mine is stupid fast. I can imagine this one's still pretty quick. And we've got 24,000 miles. No. Yeah, 24,000 miles. And then down here, these are Honda Dreams. Uh, this one's missing the tag, but this one still has it. I don't know if this is a factory or not, but Honda motorcycles. You got a Honda right there. You got a Honda right there. These are two different sizes. I think we said this one's going to be the smaller size. And this one's going to be the larger one due to the tank size and the layout of everything. But if you unscrew this cover... Down here, you've got a serial number CA9550161. One. 50161. One. That's one's just worn away. So CA9550161 is our number there. Got some tape on the block. Probably got a hole behind the uh, gas aluminum cover. Uh, you're supposed to have another number there. Can't really. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And then Honda right there. The only other bike, we also have the word Honda. No riding on this side. And this side has uh, nothing written on it. So I don't know a whole lot about these older Hondas. Here's some numbers on the engine. Do, 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 whatever that means talking about oil and stuff 15 liters and here's your there's your other good information we're gonna a77e dash it's like one zero zero seven five eight one so if you guys want to do some math or whatever you got to do to figure out what that means be my guest this one, the odometer gears are baked by the sun, so you can't tell. That kind of looks like a two, and then a four, and a two, and I don't know what the other ones are. The little thing registered a hundred, though. And the mileage on this one. Got one, four, eight, two, oh, and almost two tenths. So that's 14,820 miles. And uh, this one looks like it was the last one to run. Someone had been in here playing with wires and spark and so I bet you this was the last one to run. Check out the white walls on the back. Ain't that spiffy? But 
we found the side covers. We're missing some pieces there. And this one was missing some pieces, but I rounded up all of this. There's another cover. There's two more big cover plates and another tank. Don't know if they're for the bikes, but whatever. So there's a, a local guy near us who buys and sells and trades and tinkers with motorcycles. And we, it, I had done some business with him years ago, and I, I couldn't remember his number or even his name. And I kind of knew where he lived, but not good enough to just show up and be like, hey. Okay, the wind closed the door. So um, I finally ran into him at the gas station the other day, and I was like, hey, man, I got something for you. We've been hanging onto these for a while, and we're trying to get rid of some stuff. Business has been super slow. So, any little bit of side money helps. Uh, all three bikes, the way they sit, 1200 bucks. He came back to some haggling, we're at nine, so 900 bucks, he gets three bikes, that's 300 bucks a piece. I figured the dreams are worth that for parts. Once again, I don't really know, but uh, can't argue with it now, all three of them are gone. He should be here within a couple hours or so to pick him up. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're cleaning up around here. And uh, the two Honda Dreams are over there in the corner. And the KZ750 we had stuffed over here. And uh, we've been trying to just get everything all neat and organized. So that we can work in this space a little better. <clears throat> this little Baja little Chinese looking mini bike thing. Uh, I actually messed around with it the other day. And we've got that one running. So we'll hang on to that one. The tank for it's over here. It doesn't actually use that tank for fuel. That tank just sits on top of it for decoration there's your real fuel tank but it runs so yeah anyway i'll quit yammering on i just wanted to show the three bikes before they before they go i don't think i ever filmed them um the kawasaki was purchased uh for a couple hundred bucks or so i i think and then uh, we put a little bit of money into it randy went and ordered a ignition switch and key and everything so that we could try to start it up and it did run, it just flooded. Don't have a battery for it, don't have a jumper pack up here, so we're not gonna mess with it. I don't wanna mess anything up on it. They're already sold, so I don't need to touch it anymore. And those two Honda Dreams are actually scrapped. Uh, guy carried them in here and threw them off his truck as junk. So we pulled those out of the pile. And they're in pretty good shape. I mean, that's not the greatest, but literally for someone to throw it off a truck, I don't think it's too terribly bad looking. We've got turn signals still on this one. We've got tail light still on this one. I don't think those turn signals are, well, no, they, you know, they might be correct. I don't know. But turn signals, we got a tail light still on it. We've got the rear fender. Look at the front fender on this thing. Look at that crazy design. And it's not rusted through, it's pretty solid. The corrosion, of course, bubbling through, but all still here. So, um, that one's on the horseshoe stand. They both have horseshoe stands. That one's on it. This one's on the regular kickstand. Leaned up. But anyway, guys, yep, that's going to end this video. Oh, last thing I'll mention. They all still kick over. So, and the KZ, I'm jealous. Mine doesn't have a kickstart backup. Mine's only got electric. This one's got a kickstart backup. So all of them kick over. No locked up motors here. And you know, must be one. If they spin, they run in most cases. So thanks for watching guys. 
If you want to do some searching on those numbers, you can go back and pause the screen and figure that out for me. I'm not that interested, or I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't have that much time to invest to figure it out right now, but I'm sure some of you guys are motorcycle gurus and know exactly what we have going on right here. So drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching, subscribing, commenting. We've gained a lot of people here lately. So uh, welcome to the channel if you are new. If you are not, thank you for continuing to watch. I'm going to go get back to work, and we will see you in the next one.